Good day, brothers and sisters. Today we would like to present a new update on Sister Agnes Sasagawa, seer of Our Lady of Akita. This information was given by Father Elias Mary of the Friars of the Immaculate, who was interviewed by WQPH Radio. See the description below for the full interview. Father Elias relates the following. So it's important that this year is the 50th anniversary of the beginning of the apparitions in Akita. So at that time I asked somebody who had been familiar with uh, Sister if she was still alive and he said yes, that she was. At that time I thought, well, it'd be interesting if we could ever meet her. So it was kind of a in the back of my mind back in 2019. It would be nice to somehow meet Sister Agnes just to ask her some questions, and just to meet someone who had had such an experience. Well, COVID came in the whole, you know, that got put back on on the back burner. So we just finally got back to going another time this year, in 2023, to visit again on the pilgrimage to Japan. And someone said she was still alive and that it might be possible for us to meet her. So we did with the help of some friends and a Japanese guide. We found where Sister might have been because it's kind of been hidden that where she lives, where she's at. So um, with the help of this guide, we did rendezvous and met Sister who's staying in a care home, which in of itself is kind of odd that she's a religious sister and she's in a secular care home. I'm not sure why that is, it just seems unusual. Yes, we were um, able to visit with her, but only through an iPad, because at the time in April of this year, there are COVID restrictions where we're still varying, very much in place. And they were very, very restrictive, just like here during the height of COVID. You couldn't meet with the person in a care home face to face. We had to do it over an iPad and we were only were able to spend about 15 minutes conversing with her. We weren't even allowed to sit down somewhere. We just stood in the entranceway of the, or the corridor, you might say, the lobby of the care facility, and spoke to her through the iPad. What a grace that was. Just to be in her presence was a grace, to just, of her mannerisms. She just seems to still be very pious, a very pious soul, that if you ever saw the old videos of when she gave her little testimony, she's of course, she turned 93 this year, on the uh, Feast of the Pentecost, May 28th. But she still seems to be, have a clarity of mind, of her mind, and she seems to be, and appears to be still very pious and very powerful soul. I don't know if it's people above her, or that it seems that she's kind of put somewhere where people hope that they will even forget about her because you know how many people knew she was still alive I thought maybe she had passed away some time ago and it seems to especially in the times in which we are living yes with the messages of Akita which contrary to what somebody said back in the early part of this century back around 2004 a very high prelate in Japan said that Akita has no more significance for today. And Our Lady said to Sister, if men do not repent and better themselves, the Father who inflicted terrible punishment on all humanity, it will be a punishment greater than the deluge, such as one will never have have been seen before. Fire will fall from the sky and will wipe out a great part of humanity. The good as well as the bad, sparing neither, priest nor faithful. The survivors will find themselves so desolate that they will envy the dead. The only arms which will remain for you will be the rosary and the sign left by my son. Each day recite the prayers of the rosary. With the rosary, pray for the Pope, the bishops and the priests. The work of the devil will infiltrate even into the church in such a way that one will see cardinals opposing cardinals, bishops against other bishops. This is the part that I think is so, so obvious that we see happening today. So that maybe, you know, this prelate spoke too soon back in the early part of this century. The priests who venerate 
me will be scorned and opposed by their contras and altars will be sacked. The church will be full of those who accept compromises and the demon will press many priests and consecrated souls to leave the service of the Lord. The thought of the loss of so many souls is the cause of my sadness. If sins increase in number and gravity, there will be no longer there will be no longer be pardoned for them. Pray very much the prayers of the rosary. I alone am able to still save you from the calamities which approach 